it's often useful to combine um, selection tools, the use of selection tools. In other words, in the previous video I showed how I used the, the quick select tool, basically a brush which chooses a selection to select this part of the cat. Now I could if I want to, like let's say I'm going to go into this detail by his ear here and see this little tiny indentation, I want to get that. Well, I don't, I'm not stuck using, I started with a quick select tool, it doesn't mean I have to keep using it. I can go over here and I can select say the lasso tool. I want to um, take away from the selection here, so I'm going to hold down the Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac, and I get the minus sign, right? And click, hold, and carefully draw in this little indentation. And out here, with the lasso tool, I can be as sloppy as I want to be and just let go. And now we see that little indentation um, has been, been shown, and that's about as good as you're going to get, I think. Um, Again, there's there's a quality of selection called feathering, which I'm not going to get into. Which I could change that. It could this could be, you know, it, it could mimic fur pretty well. Uh, anyway, um, so I have the, the lasso tool um, enabled. Let me come inside the the selection because what I want to do is add to the selection here, right? So. To add to a selection, you, you hold down the shift key. So I'm holding down the shift key. I get my lasso tool with a plus sign on it. I can start anywhere I want to in here. It doesn't matter. Click, hold, drag. But now i got to be very, very careful and be carefully follow the, the, like the, that little like halo of fur. And I'm here, and I can just let go. And there, that uh, cleaned up my selection quite a bit. So the moral of the story, folks, is um, you can combine the selection tools and switch between them, always using Alt or Option to take away from a selection, always using Shift to add to a selection, and you can make very precise, very good selections. Um, like one strategy is to use the Quick Select tool with a very wide paintbrush and just rough it in, and then use your lasso tools to um, work on the details. That's one way to do it. As you work with Photoshop, you're going to find your own um, techniques and, and things that are comfortable with you. So be aware of all the selection tools.